Hello, Jay Barino here, and welcome back. We're playing Path of the Kaldori. It's Warcraft 3 Alternate, where we're playing as the Night Elves instead of the Undead. Uprooting the Dead. Chapter 2. Hidden stuff behind trees. This and next mission, I think. The next morning on the outskirts of Anderhall. What the hell is that? These glaive throwers will help you in retrieving and guarding the remains of our master. Can you not simply raise the remains when we find them? Pardon, Lord, but a being of Kel'Thuzad's power can only be reanimated at a nexus of powerful lay energies. And there are no such places in this land. Very well, then. Let's move out. Kill the Death Knight guarding the graveyard. Bring Arthas to Kalthazad's tomb. A sound plan. Okay, well, we start with a wisp. Let's go ahead and hotkey all of these and just have the wisp follow the glaive throwers, I guess. The night is my strength. All right, break and break. I'm sorry, horse. You don't deserve this, but I don't remember what drops what here, so. I'm here to help. I will say, I mean, Archer's a huge upgrade over He's Ghouls, though at the same time, we also have no frontline support really for anything here, so that's a little spooky, right? You know what we can do is just get some early lumber going. Can we? It would appear that this is specifically different to disallow you from, from doing that. Okay, no problem. We also don't have Cannibalize. Actually, I, do you even get Cannibalize this early in the campaign as the Undead? I don't think so. Okay, let's inch forward, see what we can see. Break that. And we want to lure. We want to lure these enemies out. Stop this madness before it's too late. Stand aside, brother. I've come to collect some old bones, and I don't wish to be disturbed. What do we got here? Is there danger? Nothing. It's nothing. Okay, great. So we just want to. Oh, never mind. He's gone. What the heck? I'm here to help. Wasn't he right there? Where did he go? <laughs> Am I crazy? He was right there, right? Certainly. Okay, well, this is fine with me. We'll take our time. Because these have, uh... Oh, they do have fortified armor. Why did I think these would have heavy armor? I'm here to help. I know human guard towers have heavy armor, so... Siege weaponry isn't... I mean, it's fine. It does a lot of upfront damage, but it doesn't get that extra bonus versus uh, that it does get versus fortified. Just kind of an interesting thing. Okay. Hello, Mr. Paladin. Of uh, course. This is another case where again we just want to lure them out, kind of one at a time. A sound plan. Of course. Okay, that's acceptable. Just dr yeah, draw these away from. the towers. Especially those banshees. Well, now everybody's cursed, and they're going to be cursed for a very long time, but... Oh, well. Well, Arthas won't be cursed. Illidan won't be cursed? I don't know. You you know who it is. I guess we'll call him Arthas? Illidan Arthas? Night Elf Arthas? I don't know, man. I'm scared. <laughs> Everything's a little different, and I'm nervous about it. This mission always can drag on just because, again, you're stuck with meat wagons and ghouls. And it does highlight the power of siege weaponry. It is very good. Uh, you know, it costs a lot of supply, it takes a long time to build, and is very, uh, very fragile. Or it's it's easy to, you know, catch it out. But if you actually just right-click a hero with a bunch of artillery, it's very good. It's not just for buildings. And I think this mission does a good job in in portraying that. Oh, okay, here he comes. For honor. A sound plan. I can't believe that we have whoa, 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 whoa. I knew it was a mistake to accept a spoiled prince into our order. Hello? Oh, is he bubbled? I'm not sure. Regardless, we did lose a single uh, archer there, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and use our pots. Oh, no, Gavinrad's the one that's took taken a lot of damage. I'm crazy. I was... Because I was looking at the death knight... <laughs> <laughs> and I thought it was Arthas. Oh, man. Okay. All right, all right. That's fine. Get on up here and start destroying this stuff. We didn't lose a... Uh... 
We didn't lose any siege weaponry, right? We can rebuild archers no problem. We have really nothing else to spend our gold on, except maybe ancient protectors, so that's all good. But yeah, this is this is done in a way such that uh, you can't get a bunch of lumber, or like you can't cheese yourself a bunch of lumber by like going AFK and letting the wisp mine for several hours. Granted, um, look, straight up, if you felt the need to do that, <laughs> Because you thought you actually needed to? Just, like, rethink your choice in gaming. You know? Just doesn't seem like a great use of your of your time. Even if you're- even if you leave it idle! Just why? <laughs> Come along now, Kalpazan. The powers that you once served have need of you again. Told you. My death would mean little. What the- Am I hearing ghosts now? It is I, Kjalthazar. I was right about you, Prince Arthas. Nice touch that he's a wisp. It took you long enough. These remains are badly decomposed. They will never survive the trip to Quel'Thalas. Quel'Thalas? Yes. Only the energies of the Necrolord's Dark Well can bring Kel'Thuzad back to life. Then what must be done? You must steal a very special urn from the necromancer's keeping. Place the remains within it, and he will be well protected for the journey. As you wish. The dark well. <laughs> okay, trees. Actually, not trees. We need moon wells. In fact, we need several moon wells. Let's just go ahead and pop out some of these dudes and give me several moon wells. And then, I guess just go ahead and root. I mean, there's really not much we can do to start here besides just sort of chill. We got our archer back who died. That's that's nice. So I think down here is a bunch of random creeps. I guess we could go creeping for a little bit here early on. Certainly couldn't hurt. We've got some pots to use on him. Uh, I think I wasted one of my greater healing pots. Oh, it's a war golem. Okay. I think I wasted one of my greater healing pots earlier because I was looking at the Death Knight thinking it was Arthas and I popped a pot, uh, you know, I sort of panicked. But we're good. Okay, I don't even know what these things can drop. You know what, though? It's good. To, it's a good source of gold, so let's, uh... Let's just let those work away. And how are we doing on moon wells? We'll get a Hunter's Hall. No static defense available to us, unfortunately. So that's a thing. Let's go ahead and get some additional Wisps on Lumber. Lumber comes in slow as Night Elves. Comes in real slow. He stands for the Night. Did you hear that? Okay, one more. Let's just go ahead and pop it. We'll get more stuff. We'll get. We'll certainly get more and more stuff as this as this campaign goes on. It is tough because Arthas is our only unit here. Oh, okay, there's the level nine. Is Arthas is our only frontline unit here, so he is just going to take a beating constantly, to the point where we might have to just start backing him out. I mean, this thing's immune to magic, right? Well, hopefully he doesn't die. And in some cases, it might actually be more efficient to just let him die. We also have moon wells. I say let him die and then resummon him for the gold cost, but not having him on the field for that amount of time is rough. Pendant of energy is fine for him. Not really, not really an ideal thing that I think that he needs. Tree of Ages is required here, so let's get that started. We might lose our Ancient of War here, but that's not the end of the world. Let's see if maybe we could save it. We might also splash damage it to death here. You know what? Yeah, you guys stay back. I guess because it was technically hostile, they kept uh, attacking it, I think is probably what happened there. So we'll get a new one. In fact, we're probably going to want to get two. And then your level... Probably just go with mana burn, especially for this level, and then we can heal him with our moon wells. Of course. Certainly. Of course. Cool. Uh, and then you guys... I guess go ahead and attack some crates, you know? Um, let's come on down here. We'll have you attack the trees, because there's like a Tychondrius creep randomly. I'm here to help for honor. 
Here, come on over here and get healed. Done. Research finished. Okay, and then we get plus one. All's well with the world. Again, it's just his fragility early on. A sound plan. Um, but let's just look around, see what we can find. That's the first area. There's some areas all throughout this mission that you can break trees. I think one of them is up here. Yeah, it's that. Uh, it's like the Pan Pandaren relaxation area or whatever the heck. It's weird. There's some... Th these early maps, again, same with the human campaign. Missions 1 and 2 have just some weird stuff on them. Wait, are these not destructible? It would seem not. Okay, well, forget that. They usually don't drop anything anyway, so we'll move these up here. Let's go ahead and get some additional wisps for lumber eventually. We're not going to need that many. And we'll just make archers. I mean, what else is there to do? And as soon as this is done, yeah, we just get a three or four on, on lumber. We keep making moon wells. They can heal us out of combat. Is there danger? I mean, the trade-off is you're not destroying the trees, but is that really that important? Certainly. Level 2 mana burn is certainly nice. But yeah, our front line is just going to be very fragile, so it's just like, I'm ready to spam out, like, lots and lots of archers. I feel like, especially for early on in these missions, just you just need the DPS to plow through this stuff. There's really no other option. Okay, get several wisps. That's probably too many wisps. Get some upgrades. How you doing up here? He's fine. Oh, a pl Ooh, look at that. Plus one intelligence. For honor. Just what I was looking for. Sound plan. Okay, let's get these dudes up here, and hopefully they don't get intercepted and killed. We'll heal them when they come back. Is there Improved bows will be handy. Oh, look at that. They're getting killed on their way on their way up there. Okay, save me. The ghouls also seem like they get like random special abilities. Did, did anyone see them? They were like, they had like bloodlust earlier. I don't know what's going on with that, but. Here, and here, and here. I'm right-clicking it so it's not drawing aggro. He's done it. Okay, repair me. And then send these up here. And then we're going to get more glaive throwers and just more archers, because what else are we doing? And more wisps for lumber. The amount of wisps we have to spend for lumber early is going to be astronomical, that is for sure. Uh, there's really no way around it. Night is my strength. I would say as, as, as soon as those units spawn, we'll get going here. But for now, we can break some trees. Please. I don't even think there's anything back here. This is the... Is this the relaxation area? I, it's not... I mean, one of them actually, there's something that drops. I don't know what. Wait, are glaive throwers the normal night elf artillery? They are, aren't they? I'm not crazy. Okay. And you can come on back down here. Justice shall be done. I think there's some um I'm here to help. Certainly. Of course. Well, let's you know what? Let's kill this first base. I think there's some um some creeps back there. It's like the danger. Why can't I think of the word? The Sasquatches? Of course. For honor, a sound plan. I'm sort of curious to know what's in this base. Say no more. So let's just attack them and see if they come over here. Yep, there they go. Is there danger? Of course. A sound plan. Turn on immolation. Betrayer. Oh. You are fit enough to even carry your father's name. Why Uta ever vouched for you is beyond me. You've stripped him of his honor by casting yours to the winds. You deserve a gruesome death, boy. Highly cursed. So you can see also, like, they're on hard difficulty. They're going to go for our back lines as well. So that's just going to make this particularly difficult. Get rid of this voodoo doll and pick up this. We'll probably use it. Okay, let's go ahead and go. I feel like these units can sort of take care of themselves. We can pop our scroll. And then let's head on up here and see what we can find. Again, I think this is the Sasquatches. We might want to send up some additional units for it. But with the Paladin Den, there's really not much else we can do besides, you know, build archers. They'll get up there eventually. I might need to send some units up here to help. Of course. What the hell is that? 
translated to gutter speak. It seems that the demon hunter used to be a death knight, but was he ever a paladin? Or is that like asking if the real universe's paladins used to be Torin chieftains? Not even our Sasquatch society knows the true nature of this alternate universe. Our warriors <laughs> have engaged the enemy. Is there danger? Oh, here they come. Yeah, I don't think he can handle this himself, so we gotta we gotta back him out. We can we can zap him. I just want to destroy the crypt that's back here. So you guys can keep going. Our warriors have engaged the enemy. On your mark. And I don't know, do you think him and four archers are enough to take these? That's that's kind of a I think a dicey uh, dicey endeavor, but we'll give it a shot. Again, our tech is rough. I think until we get Druids of the Claw, which probably won't be for for quite a while. I don't know, Huntresses are okay frontline support. We're just gonna, we're just gotta really stack up these units. They're gonna be fine. They're gonna do great. Also, I, stand ready. I want the color mode where the enemy is the, the actual. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Creep display? No, no, no. We'll, we'll figure it out. Anyway, I stand let's go ahead and go. We can, you know, let's bring some additional ladies just in case. Of course. Hop on in there. Gonna get more glaive throwers. Give him the zap. He's enraged after all. Oh, that's. We gotta heal. I should have sent more ladies. Can he live? I guess turn this on. Every little bit, right? There we go. That's the DPS we need. We we'll go back and heal him with the moon wells. What you got for me? Claws plus six. That's fine for a an agility hero where the attack speed picks up and then you get some some more benefits from uh, from straight damage. So you come on home. We'll get you healed up, Mr. Arthas. That'll allow us to get maxed out. I can even get more Ancients of War. I guess if we're, like, desperate, we could even attack with the Ancients of War. I don't want to do that. But it's something we could do that is what I'm saying. Um, one thing we're gonna leave that voodoo doll because there's several other items to pick up on this map for sure. Where's the Pandaren relaxation area? It's this, right? So we could uh, we could start cutting through the trees to that just so that we can get that awful flash of light. When it goes ding, and then it's it's just it's weird. <laughs> well, again, a lot of weird stuff here. Let him through. Our warriors have Heal me? Certainly. For honor. Certainly. Am I correct also in thinking that Moonwells heal significantly more health than they do mana? So I think generally you want to prioritize healing your units, your normal units, over your hero or, he or units with mana. What else is on this map? We can come down here. Go around to the little town. There's the weird Tychondrius behind those trees that we can't break. Say no more. And yeah, normally you can make spirit towers on this map, so at least you could, uh... Point the way. You could have some defense at home while you did all your pointless creeping, but I guess that's not an option here. Go ahead, move forward. We're almost there. Good work. Let's wait for the next enemy attack, I guess, and then we'll send Arthas down. Arthas Illidan down. Okay, good work. Run on through here. Waiting on you. Might as well put these ladies in the back. Yeah, I guess what it comes down to is just like how fast can we can we build archers? Of course. What you got for me? Oh hey! Goblin relaxation area, and we got Mecha Gob. Pocket Factory's good. Cluster Rocket's good. Interesting. The stun will be handy, too. Builds Clockwork Goblins quicker. Uh, yeah, let's just go with the rockets. Sorry, I just sort of sat there paralyzed, like, what do I do? Wait, what's going on down here? Is that a, a boat? Sound plan. 
What? Is that for... That's gotta be for like a cinematic or something. Anyway, uh, let's wait for the next enemy attack and then we can come on down here, finish creeping. That's handy though, having uh, an additional hero. Again, we need that frontline support. He's gonna die fast, but he's honestly got more... Uh, he's a higher level than, than Arthas, so I think we're good. Just keep making ladies and glaive throwers. What else are we doing, right? Uh, if they don't attack me soon, I guess we should just go. For the word of honor. For honor. Justice has come. The thing with mana pots on this hero is it's just they're really not that important, you know? Sound plan. I stand ready. Our warriors have Fair engaged enough. the enemy. Because it's just like oops, I left immolation aura on for too long. That's like the only use of them. And then this guy doesn't have an inventory because he's gonna be gone. Also, can I can I resurrect can I resurrect the goblin if he dies? So we should be a little more careful with him, I suppose. I have no way to heal him. Uh, I don't know the hotkeys for this hero, so. Okay, let's kill this hero and then we'll backtrack, and we can let our other units sort of clean this up. Oh, wait, did we not kill him? I thought he was dead. Gregory the Wicked. Gregory is dead. What you got? Come on down here. Break and break. I like how that Easter egg actually has something useful. Is there danger? Justice shall Okay, let's go back and heal on our way back to our base, and we can send these units up. I guess let's bring some some archers with us so that we learn our lesson from last time. I'm all geared up. I'm here to help. Fair enough. And then we'll just leave this stuff here for a while. On your mark. And we'll build some additional archers as well, because what else are we doing with our money? Nothing! Um they must be building these units from up here, but the paladin is dead, so I would say let's push let's push ahead and push into this area. Hopefully we have enough. I think so. And get rid of them before they rebuild too much. I can handle that. Waiting on you. Okay, cool. So this group, let's bring you down here. I think that's where the level high level golem thing came from, so it's probably not back there, but we'll check. Yeah, see, they're just rebuilding, like, one at a time. I think there's, there should be a crypt back there. Yeah, there it is. I'm here to help. Okay, you check that. Check up here. Justice shall be done. See, I don't think there's anything back here now. We cleared all this out, right? And then we can't get up that way, but we can go left, and there's just, like, a bunch of random, like, buildings and stuff down here. Okay, so that's one less area that's gonna attack us. I don't even remember if there's anything down here. I'm here to help. A sound plan. So we'll check. And what do I have that I'm even willing to get rid of? The spider ring, probably. For a pot of healing. I mean, honestly, probably. Probably should take that. Um, let's just see what this thing drops. This poor guy's getting roasted. On your mark. Nothing. Just gold. Um, you know what? I'm gonna take Justice that pot. Again, he's our only frontliner besides Mr. Mechagob, who's probably gonna Justice die during the Uther fight. So let's just uh Certainly. let's take For the survivability honor. over everything else. A sound plan. Of like course. this little town here is nice and atmospheric, but For there's honor. just really not much going on. Is this bandits? Feel my wrath. Sorry, buddy. Plan. Of course. A sound plan. Oh, there he is. Well, I must feast on souls. I guess I guess it's like a little Easter egg. He's invulnerable, but there's also like a critter that's behind these trees up here. Up here, behind these trees. Waiting. He's somewhere, and then he uh, you can click on him, and then it's he's labeled as Tychondrius. Again, finding that would be neat, and I thought normally you come up this little this ramp up here, and he's like behind, he's like there. But 
Again, let's not worry about that now because it didn't let me destroy the trees. It's possible that now that we found Tychondrius, it would let me destroy the trees, but I'm not going to go back and do it. Cue the comments like, Jay Barino, if you did that, you would have found like plus six boots of, uh, boots of Quel'Thalas or something, which by the way, is an item on this campaign and we'll get them. And that'll be really handy because normally you get them on strength-based Arthas, but not this time. We've got agility-based Illidan Arthas much, much better. Uh, for, I guess, the plus six boots. I don't want to say, you know, better. We don't have Death Coil. We don't have Animate Dead. Your father ruled this land for 70 years. And you've ground it to dust in a matter of days. Very dramatic, Luther. Give me the urn, and I'll make sure you die quickly. The urn holds your father's ashes, Arthas. What? Were you hoping to piss on them one last time before you left his kingdom to rot? <laughs> I didn't know what it held. Nor does it matter. I'll take what I came for one way or another. Come then, Shadow Spawn. Okay, that should draw him to us. Like the way. Is there danger? We're like nowhere close. For honor. We can lure out his other stuff, kill it. Do as much damage as we can. On your mark. We want to get into positions that we can lure them to this to this little opening here and then just blast them with the glaive throwers. That's the plan. We get a little concave, we get our little robots going. It's gonna be a delight. I'm here to help. Of course. There's also some items down here as well. One of them is a goblin night scope. I'm thinking we're fine in terms of items right now, and we're just gonna continue to get better and better stuff each mission, so let's just chill. A sound plan. I stand for the night. Certainly. Ow? A sound plan. What you got? Let's go out. So we do this and we do that. And just mana burn the crap out of him. Is he death and decaying me? He's I feel like he's about to. Goodbye, Tinker Man. You did your best for us. Oh my gosh. Okay, he can't frost he can't frost Nova us anymore. You gotta move though. You gotta move. Mana burn him another time. And we're laying on the hurt. He's gonna die. I dearly hope that there's a special place in the shadow waiting for you, Arthas. <laughs> we may never know. I intend to live. That was probably the first one that felt a little a little wacky. The shadow plans. Um, we don't have to pick that up right away. We can go and explore the other item options. I suppose I will do so, though we are stuck in here. Let's move on in. Mr. Mecha Man died. I doubt that there would that he would carry forward. He doesn't have an inventory. It would be interesting if it was like, oh, if he lives, then you can use him on future missions. I don't know. It just doesn't strike that would be too good. Like a totally sec like a totally separate hero seems seems a little too good. We do have an open slot, but that's for the urn. I'm here to help. Put those gloves of haste will probably stay on him because those are um, those are percentage based. So as his health, of uh, course, as his health continues to not his health, as his attack speed continues to increase over time. Certainly, for honor. Get back here. For honor. As this attack speed continues to increase over time, that 15%, it's like a Sobi mask, right? A Sobi mask is going to get you a much higher return on an intelligence hero because their base intelligence is higher, and then you have a percentage-based increase. It's the same with Gloves of Haste on an agility hero. Gloves of Haste not going to be doing much on a strength or intelligence hero because their attack speed in general is just not very high. Sorry, buddy. I want to say one of those sheep has the goblin night scope, but I don't even, I don't even want it, you know? What? What did he just say? Oh, whoops. That was my unit. Kill the sheep! Oh, it's a vampiric potion now. That's actually not that bad. Um, I, I think I'd actually take that over the mana pot, but how could I... How do you get it? We'd have to break the trees, and I, I don't care enough. Uh, life, the life steal is nice, but let's just pick up the urn and end this. We said that we've... You know, we, we, ex we did fully explore the, the area. That's what it comes down to. Difficult mission with archers. Excellent work. Now your journey to Quel'Thalas begins. Tell him nothing. 
Only you can hear me. The keepers of the grove cannot be trusted. They are the Warden Lord's jailers. I will tell you all. Okay, points for effort. <laughs> I feel like mission one, Tychondrius was like flawless. And then in this one, some of them are not noticeable and then some of them are really obvious, but that's okay. Again, it's like, it's a huge step though. I think it is a really, really big step, especially on the number of campaign edits that we get across StarCraft, StarCraft II and Warcraft. Um, it seems like this is a pretty, this is pretty accessible technology for people to try and use. And again, for the most part, it's way better than just trying to like find and splice in existing audio files. Um, I guess it just depends on how noticeable it can be. And sometimes when it's like the more noticeable it is, it's kind of funny, which might be also an intended effect. It's, it's hard to tell. Um, I feel like episode one or, or scour the Scourge of Lordaeron, Overgrowth of Lordaeron of alternate here was uh, definitely felt a bit tongue in cheek. Um, because I think it kind of knew it was a bit, uh, a bit absurd in that way. We'll watch the, the Keepers convene so we can hear a few more goofy voice lines. Um, but in this one, I think because the, the technology is now available, there is a, there's a real attempt that is mostly successful to get these voices to fit in properly. Somewhere in the Emerald Dream. Is everything proceeding as planned, Tychondrius? Lord Archimon demands a report on the Sentinels. The Warden Lord's young demon hunter has been performing well. Most too well. I begin to wonder if Lazul has ulterior motives for his new champion. The human means nothing in the long run. Nerzo wouldn't dare undermine our efforts now. Our only concern is that the Sentinels accomplish what they were created to do. Archimond will have all our heads if we do not keep control of this situation. Believe me, sister. Neither the Warden Lord nor his elven lackeys will jeopardize the Legion's return. See that they do not. Lord Archimond has little patience for failure. I like her little cloak. That was really well done. Only one of those lines wasn't completely AI generated, and it's the one that actually sounds the worst. Where he's like, they'll have our heads, blah, blah, blah. Like, that one guy, is that's from the original game. <laughs> you wouldn't think it when you hear it compared to the, the actual, you know, the AI generated stuff in that cutscene that sounded legit. And then there's the, <laughs> the one poor extra Dreadlord. Anyway, uh, we're going to play Into the Realm Skeletal. Ah, next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.